Welcome everyone, Adam is the woo here as the recording of this wearing an appropriate t-shirt. It is Friday, May 20th, 2022. I parked over at the parking lot there next to the main place mall in Santa Ana, California. Plenty of construction. I did not park here because it says tire damage will happen if I go in this way. Could not figure out how to get into this parking lot where there is the Endeavor shuttle recreation, possibly. Space shuttle piece right over there. And this rocket, it is a historic occasion for those who are into 1980s films like myself, the Top Gun house has reopened in Oceanside, south of here, you know, 30, 40 miles south. It has reopened. It was empty, closed off, desolate for years. In fact, if I was a betting man, I would have said that they would have torn it down, leveled it, bulldozed it, but I was incorrect. A pie shop has rejuvenated the property. Yes, where Tom Cruise walked in. The whole love scene, my breath is now taken away doing. Then it's back. I'm gonna pick up a friend, head southbound. Might get us some pie. Check out a piece of 80s history and just who knows what else will happen. Wherever the wind blows is where I'm going. Join me. Shall you? Aha! That's where the entrance is. I could have gone under the overpass of the freeway there. Nonetheless, found a spot. Only going to be here for a pre brief moment. It says private property. Ooh, I wonder if someone kind of busted out this section and crawled inside there. There's the porthole around the back. Pretty neat. The Endeavor. A mock-up of the Endeavor. Just sitting here in a parking lot next to the mall. And also, that beacon, that rocket there with the boosters. All right, get in my car, heading south. Also, as I show off this very beautiful tree here, Notice there are clouds in the sky. This is something you do not see every day in Southern California. Might get some rain. No blue skies today, just cloudy skies. It's not Top Gun, but this was a naked gun. Okay, have made the commute about 45 minutes south down to the Oceanside Municipal Municipal Fishing Pier, constructed in 1987. Also, Sean Clark is here with me from Horror's Hallowed Grounds. Yeah, I was here getting me some Top Gun pie. You've are, have you already been in there? Hell no. You haven't been in there? No, I'm waiting for you, man. Actually, you rode along with me. I already said I was, I already said I was picking up a friend. Oh, is that right? So We're... the bit has just gone off the rails. I used to come to Oceanside a lot in the late 80s, early 90s, because my buddy was in, uh, he was in the Marines, so I had to go to Camp Hamilton to pick him up a lot. Yeah. But I've never been down to this pier that I can remember. Pretty cool little town. They actually put rescue on the surfboard. That way, if you're being rescued, you know they're legit. They're not just some random guy trying to pose as a lifeguard to save you. It's like, you gotta make sure they have the actual rescue on the bottom of the board. And it also kind of works out because I believe Maverick premieres next week, in a week. I think it was filmed about you know, four years ago and then the world shut down and it's finally going in theater. So there's a little bit of height behind the house being moved and some height behind Maverick. Are you excited for Maverick? Are you... I'm not really too excited about it, but no. I do want to see Tom Cruise really fly a plane. Yeah. That's kind of neat. He does his own stunts, which is kind of, this is a really steep. It is a little steep. This is pretty cool here along the, the walkway boardwalk as well. This old camper they sell. You know, food and snacks and whatnot too. This is down on the lower level. 
Now I'm going off a of memory of being here a couple times over the last decade, but I'm pretty sure it was used to sit on the corner of Pacific and Seagaze. At the top of this incline, you drive up and down this hill with the view of the pier and all right there. And the house used to stand. You're recreating Maverick. Dude, I'm in the danger zone, baby. You are. <laughs> <laughs> so he rode his motorcycle right down here. These palm trees are kind of sort of still here. I mean, there's a lot of heavy winds and stuff, but there were some palm trees. Turned here, kind of did a U-turn, went off, walked up here, knocked on the door, which was right here. I'll show the real door down there, because this is where the cottage used to be. It was boarded up for a long time. Under the... Did see it when it was here? I saw it. Probably three or four times I was I went by here. Okay. I did a full filming location video and then I stopped by numerous times. Anytime, it's like one of those things I'd be passing by Oceanside. Like, let's see what what's going on with the, with the Top Gun house. So I'd stop by. And you could walk up to it for a while, then they like completely fenced it off and it was just an utter decay. But thankfully someone bought it, moved it from here down to there. And now it's open for business. This is the first time I'll be able to walk inside the screen used house. This is pretty dang cool, right here in the middle of this courtyard. Kind of an interesting place where they would put something like this. The traffic's going by trying to get the wide angle here of the house. Got the porch over on this side, which is pretty awesome. Got the front. This is where Tom Cruise went up to the front, knocked on the door to see if she was home. Sean's already in line getting us a spot. I'm really hoping that they do have coffee and pretty neat inside definitely themed around you know the movie experience from the mid 80s hard to believe how long it's been since the mid 80s but yeah definitely a cool vibe walking inside here for the first time ever in you know 10 years of stopping by this place randomly every few years i am now inside the screen used house which is pretty dang cool think about it screen used. this was this was this was the one in the movie saved from demolition yeah, the, see how they are the coffee i thought it was gonna be a little larger coffee it's about an eight ounce coffee it's a dollar though so. it's a, that's true it's a dollar the least expensive thing in all where do we these end up getting five bucks. Oh, these are five bucks yeah those were five each yeah and then this was a dollar yeah. you could get five of these for the price of one of these yeah what was the menu item we got this is what is it called it, well it's basically a, a apple pie with a vanilla ice cream center I, I can't imagine there's too much ice cream in this. Dude, this good. thing is tiny, bro. <laughs> yeah. It's okay, it's history though, right here. Yeah, no, let's see. Are you ready? Yeah. Dink it. Ding. All right. Dink it? It's good. Yeah, you gotta dink it. Okay. <laughs> it's pretty good. That's ice cream in there? There's barely any ice cream in there. It's really good. <laughs> How many f bombs are you gonna drop? I, I'm sorry, I'm a foul mouth person. I know you you run a cleaner channel here. I'm <laughs> my bad. You curse on your channel all the time. <laughs> and they had coffee. I wish they would have had larger sizes. What'd you think of the inside? I got some B-roll in there. I'll throw over our little discussion about the inside. Of the place. It's cute. I mean, yeah, that must have been a tiny house. It was very tiny. They left the wooden floors. You could tell it's all the original. You know, flooring and all that. I just hope that, I mean, it's a very specific business. I just hope that they can last, you know? Um, but at $5, a, if the people are buying these, that, that, that's, a, that's a nice profit margin right there on they that. They had t-shirts and you were commenting on the price of the t-shirt. There were $40 a t-shirt. That's overpriced for sure. That that should have been 25 bucks tops, in my opinion, on the shirt. Maybe they have to give the, who was it, Paramount? Paramount did Top Gun. Yeah, but I mean, if for yeah, that kind of price, you better be able to put a Tom Cruise image on that shirt. I mean, that's it's just, it, there's not much to those shirts, you know? So, I don't know. Um, I, I would have possibly picked up a novelty shirt, but not a 40 bucks. 40 bucks is like a concert price, man. That's what Metallica was charging for shirts at their concert, you know? And Metallica, does they don't have their shirts bunched up at the bottom. You can actually see the whole design. Yeah, <laughs> and they're double-sided. Uh, and more than two colors, I don't know. Maybe I'm being picky, but yeah. No, for sure, but the shirt designs did not grab me Metallica at all. does not have a Maverick motorcycle. No, they were saying that Tom Cruise might show up, like they're, they were hoping. That's why I'm here. They were hoping he might come by. Like, they don't know, there's what no. The, what about the Iceman? Uh, I doubt he'll be coming. Is that gonna make it by? I don't think so. Who is, Goose definitely won't be making it by. They, Goose definitely will not be here. 
He was the he was the friend that crashed in the ocean. Anthony Edwards. Yeah. Right. I don't know. Is Anthony, that the actor's name? Yeah, from Revenge of the Nerds. Really? Yeah. I did. It was I uh, do the tie-up. Not Lewis, but the other one. Oh. I forgot what his character's name was in Revenge of the Nerds, but he was he was the one who only did part one. He didn't come back. He only did Top Gun one. No, when, well, true, yes, but he only He's did. not in Maverick? Goose will not be a Maverick. Oh, he died! Spoiler alert. Spoiler, spoiler alert, he died. <laughs> this is awesome, though. This was two blocks that way. They moved it this way. If I was a betting man, I would have said it was going to be demoed. It's not demoed, so I am thankful. And now kind of getting a look around the side and the back end here at this back little room. This is the counter where you pick up the food. You order it kind of in the middle. And then you pick it up around the back. This is also where the fireplace was. This is all part of the original house. Repurposed, repainted, touched up, cleaned up. Looking pretty dang good. And the fireplace up top there, you can see the chimney. Well, it's interesting because the fireplace is back here around this corner, but the chimney is right here in the center. Must be a, the way the architecture works. Maybe it goes up and over and across in the smokestack there. Interesting, very interesting. This is the, but this is the side of it. Again, it was two blocks over. Piece of movie history. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and jump over there, get on the motorcycle, and pretend I am Maverick Tom Cruise, speeding along, doing my best. I don't know, I'm not a motorcycle rider, so I feel I'm doing it appropriately for like an action film. It's, you know, it was kind of an action film. It was kind of a drama. It was a love story. Probably why it was so successful, because it had all three elements of that and very well done and I am giving my best imitation on the cycle in front of the house. It's pretty cool they have this photo op. There are a lot of pigeons down here. This is like those squirrels you saw the other day with pigeons. Oh, you saw all those squirrels in the I video? I saw the squirrel video. Wasn't it like something out of a horror film? It was. I kept waiting and hoping you guys would be attacked. Hello, pelican. He's trying to score some fish. He wants to fish from the fisherman. He's like, come on. Oh. Help the pelican out. This used to be a Ruby's, but has since closed, and it looks as if another place is gonna open up here at the end of the pier. It used to be a Ruby's at the end of this pier. And peeking in the window, doesn't look like it's gonna be ready to open soon. So, I wouldn't keep my eye on the end of the pier. Just like, no, don't keep your eye on the end of the pier? I think I would wait a little while and not just stand there waiting for- Right, don't wait. No, don't look away at the end of the pier there, any second now. No, this looks like it's gonna be like a year or so. Okay, this is interesting. It says, please observe these fishing rules on the pier. All the rules have nothing to do with fishing. No alcohol, climbing on rails, animals, diving or jumping, skating, glass, bicycle riding, or skateboards. Not one of these rules has anything to do with fishing. So I guess when it comes to fishing, there are no rules. Which is probably why this pelican has taken it to the next level and pulled out pelican. You pulled out your own fishing pole here. Okay, you're looking over here. You pulled out your own fishing pole because that's easier than kind of swooping in with your wings and getting the fish. Why not? There are no rules fishing up here. There's rules for other stuff. Right, Pelican? So you're just doing this? You're very confused right now. Okay, this is pretty cool. There are a lot of historical photos from the pier through the years. So this is Oceanside near the downtown area, or at least like one of the stores. This is also Oceanside. And here's the pier right there. This is also a view of the pier, an old photograph more of the same area. Here's one of the old band shells that used to be on the pier. Yeah, I love all these old photos. It's kind of tough to see with the glare on there, but this, look at this, it says New Pier, Oceanside, California, and there's the fishing bridge, and there's a touristy sticker right there. Pretty cool. Pretty neat view. there is the pie shop house. It does look pretty interesting having that kind of old-timey Queen Anne style cottage architecture in between that very new hotel, condos, apartment building. It definitely is noticeable, kind of a clash between old and new. Just kind of 
plucked right down in the courtyard there. All right, we have commuted up north of where we just were to San Clemente. I'm gonna get oh, a wait, bite no. to eat. Wrong over there, my bad. <laughs> I got the buildings mixed this up. This is San Clemente, right? No, no, you're right. I was just trying to remember which which building I used to work in. It's over there. You used to work here? I used to work right in that, where those, I'll show you over there. It's over where those curtains are on the windows. So this is your old stomping ground. Yeah, I lived here for like five, six years. And I managed a sub shop that was right there. It was called Bourbon Street Sandwichery. Bourbon Street, is this Bourbon Street? No. It was just a New Orleans themed, New Orleans themed. Uh, sub shop. Right next to the hair shop, the barber yeah, shop? The barber shop used to be a van shoe store, and next door to it, that was the Bourbon Street Sandwichery. And that barber shop used to be actually there. They moved buildings. Okay. I don't know why, but they did. So you recommended this Sunny's Pizza Pizza and Pasta place. This place is great, yeah. It's established, been here forever. established 1980. Look at this place is awesome. Look at the architecture, this brick building here. Definitely a good spot to get a pie. And I also not only got, well, besides the pizza, ended up getting a side salad as well before the pizza arrived. And a very unique name for the pizza that we ordered. We ended up sharing one full pie. Very unique name for the pizza. So we held the anchovies on this particular menu item. It was pretty good. It was like thin sliced pizza and pretty tasty. From Sonny's, established in 1980. Sonny's Pizza and Pasta. Didn't have any pasta. I just had salad and a pie. We shared a pie and we finished all of it. Okay, now that the reveal is here, this almost, is this, this might be, is this made of, it's basically way made of wood. It's made of wood. This is the corner of Alameda and Del Mar. Wow, that's a pretty good, pretty good view of the pier here. San Clemente Pier. So we're gonna do in two piers today. Yeah, this is And my... we are two piers, because we're friends. Oh yeah, yeah. So it kind of works out. This is where I used to go surfing almost every day. Oh, it's like the Gordon Fisherman up there. He's like preparing to catch something that's gonna eventually be turned into fish sticks. Or kind of like the fisherman and the old the fisherman universal, is... the universal Jaws right? the one that would, that would always tip over. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. In the, in the LA park. All right, ice cream does make me happy. All right, I went with in a cup. I did not go with a cone. I went with a little Oreo topping on top of here, the soft serve vanilla. Pretty good amount. What'd you end up getting, Sean? We got the cone with the soft serve vanilla, chocolate dipped with almonds and marshmallows. That looks good. Yeah, I definitely went off the rails on the diet today. If I get fat again, it's his fault. It's 100% his fault. All right, the vlog is over. I'm glad I'm not the only one that that ice cream makes thirsty. I thought I was the only one. Mm. And you went in and asked for bottles of water. What'd yeah. they give us? Boxed water. Well, it does say that box water is better. Does it taste better or it's better for you? Let's find out. Notice a difference? It's purified. None, none whatsoever. None. You can't taste the cardboard? No.